Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best settings on the Xenia emulator for a low-end PC. So, I'm in, in today's video, I'm basically going to showcase you guys how to basically enhance your um, settings while you're playing Xenia on a low-end PC. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, as you guys may or may not know, pretty sure most of you guys know, Xenia does not have a configuration setting, so it'll be very difficult for you to basically edit um, your settings to make it be compatible, to make Xenia more playable on a low end PC. And there's basically two ways you can basically enhance your settings for a low end PC user. So, I like say for example, if you're in a video graphics card user, my first suggestion is going to point in um, the NVIDIA control panel, which you're obviously gonna left click and you're gonna go to the NVIDIA control panel. You're gonna wait for it to pop up a little bit, it takes a while. Now when you're here, you're gonna go set configuration and you go to NVIDIA GeForce 1050 with this settings and then adjust um, settings with preview. You're gonna go to use my preference and then you're gonna um, suggest performance over quality. Basically apply it to that. And then after that, you go to manage 3D settings and you're gonna try to use your NVIDIA graphics card, which is high performance NVIDIA processor. Then you go down now, on default, the settings should be good. But if not, you guys can mess around with the settings. Like, mess around with the virtual sync. Turn it on. If you see, um, mess around with the OpenGL settings. Stuff like that. Maybe that configuration settings you see in other emulators. After you do that, you just apply it. Now, next, you go to program settings. And when you go to program settings, since I never added the Xenia emulator to this device, I'm just gonna press add. And you look for Xenia. And then you're gonna basically select it. And then you go for this. You can either use high performance NVIDIA processor or use the um high, uh, use the global settings, high high performance NVIDIA processor. Um in this case, I'll use the high performance NVIDIA processor. Like I said, default settings is good. Now, this is a little bit um, more advanced. You can see settings like frame rate, frame frame rate, low low latency mode. Ah, I can't talk today. And you have also a shader capture mode. Uh, this should be always on because when you're when you're playing with games, it's always good to make shader cache because the next time you play it, it becomes more smoother. And basically like that, the default settings are usually good. Like I said, uh, you also have V-Sync settings for this also. So, like I said, the default settings are usually good, but if you want to make some edits, if your PC works, your low end PC works um, with better with V-Sync on, you can obviously turn that on and stuff like that. But usually, in my opinion, the default settings is good. After you do that, you basically apply to it. You close that out. Now, there's another way you can um, um, find uh, configuration settings for the Xenia emulator. But first things first, you guys gonna you guys are gonna need Notepad plus plus, which I'll leave in the description and down below. Make sure you guys check that out. For me, I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm obviously gonna install it for Windows 64. And after you do that, you open up this. Now, if you guys never open up the Xenia emulator um, before, when the first time you open up the Xenia emulator, it's gonna make this um, file. And how this file is basically gonna be, is basically gonna, something would do with Xenia config or something similar um, to that end. At first, it was a TOML file. And then I changed it 
to a different file. And basically how you open up this, my suggestion is using Notepad++. You're gonna left click this, and then you basically gonna edit with Notepad++, and you're gonna open up this section of the Xenia emulator. Now this part, this is a little technical and advanced, but there's settings that you can they disable to make the game experience more smoother. As you guys can see your typical CPU tab, as you right here, CPU, config settings, context, D3, D3, D12, your GPU, where you can find um, resolution scaling, the VSync tab, you have another VSync tab, um, general settings like the D, D, debug, as a Discord feature, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> login settings, SDL, storage, UI, um, the Vulkan tab. When you're playing your Vulkan, if you want to play on um, your Xenia Emblem or Vulkan. I believe Vulkan is not good yet for the Xenia I don't know why, but usually compared to RPCS3, Vulcan is recommended for RPCS3, but with the Xenia emulator, the Vulcan is actually not recommended. If you guys want to try out um, Vulcan, obviously you're going to leave, you're going to put change all these to true due to the fact that right now Vulcan is disabled for, for my settings on the Xenia emulator. So if you want to turn on Vulcan, just put all this to true. It's pretty simple and easy. And after that, obviously when you're done with that, you're going to basically using like, like using um, Microsoft Word, you're going to use save as, create a new folder, call it, um, leave it as Xenia config, and then basically save it, and you're basically all set to go. That's basically it. Those are two ways to improve your settings on a low-end PC when you're using the Xenia emulator. And yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to really like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy, Barry Tone. I see you guys in...